Welcome to Real Physics. Today I want to offer you a wild speculation about the speed of light and the nature of reality. I'm Alexander Ansika. I'm giving a non-BS perspective on the fundamental laws of nature as found by Einstein, Schrödinger and Dirac versus the string theorists and high energy guys tell you is fundamental physics. As I said, this is a wild speculation I have talked about in my book, The Mathematical Reality. And the idea goes back to William Rowan Hamilton, who discovered the Quaternions in 1843. And he speculated that Quaternions might play an important role in the description of reality. What if our reality is not three-dimensional Euclidean space? What if we live in a curved three-dimensional manifold such as the three-dimensional unit sphere, three-dimensional unit sphere or quaternions? And this speculation is also related to the fact that we have to find first principles explanations for the constants of nature such as Planck's quantum of action and the speed of light. And if you imagine that we live in a curved space, then automatically as a mathematical concept you have the tangent space which you might imagine just a sphere and a touch the surface and a touch the plane. And yeah, what if we could not perceive reality, but just look straight into the tangent space? What if all information we can gather from the universe is light and is in that tangent space? What if the light cone is just the tangent space of say the three dimensional unit sphere? And yes, of course, in that case, you would have a deviation. The greater the distance to the past, the bigger the deviation from reality. You might even speculate about the Hubble redshift coming from that effect. But as I said, you need a reason why we have constants such as the speed of light. Why is this strange speed limit occurring in nature? And yes, a mathematically cogent reason would be every manifold has a tangent space. Of course, in turn, a lot of problems arise, such as how can we understand space and time and the qualitative difference between space and time? What does this quotient meters per second tell us? What's time after all? Why we have this phenomenology of a three plus one dimensional space time? And well, that certainly goes back to Hamilton because he said quaternions, the quaternion algebra, there is one real dimension and three imaginary ones for purely mathematical reasons. So you might think about the imaginary directions representing the spatial directions, but still you have a problem to qualitatively justify the appearance of time. But it's nice to speculate the tangent space being the light cone, because once you multiply with an imaginary unit such as I, that introduces automatically a certain twist. And on the other hand, we observe that light usually has that angular momentum in a circular polarized light. So I guess there is something interesting, but as I said, it's a wild speculation. Let me know in the comments what you think about, and if you have something better, just come up with new ideas. It's important not to forget that we have to explain th certain things, among them the constants of nature and the nature of our three plus one dimensional reality. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, and if you're interested in real fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.